Springfield Armory's most popular single stack is now optics ready. Welcome back to the channel. That's pretty good. We'll get there soon. But how about you let your daddy take care of it for now? Welcome back to the channel. Red dots on handguns, you know it's nothing new. But for the XDS Mod 2, it sure is. Chamber to 9mm, single stack, concealed carry handgun. We're gonna cover this handgun in its entirety, and by the end of this video, you're gonna know if you want to pick one up or not. Let's see what you get in the box. You're gonna get the XDS Mod 2. You're gonna get two magazines. One's gonna be a seven round with a pinky extension on it. You're gonna get an extended nine round magazine, the traditional cable lock. It's also gonna come with a base plate for the seven round magazine. That'll help you conceal that firearm just a little bit more. And if you get the OSP version with the Crimson Trace, it's also gonna come with the Crimson Trace accessory kit, which has your Allen wrenches and a microfiber cloth. Just like the majority of firearms from Springfield, it's also going to come with this nice little soft carrying case. I'm not the biggest fan when I go to my local gun store, pick up a firearm, and it's in a cardboard box with a soft case. Myself personally, I love hard cases, the durability, easier to transport, take it for what it's worth. I think the price point of $549 is very reasonable. Now keep in mind, that's just an MSRP, usually you can find stuff a little bit cheaper than that. Now the XDS line of handguns has been around for quite some time, you know they're nothing new to the market. Quite a few years back, I had an XDS, one of the original ones with the little pyramid grips on there. I am so glad they got rid of that grip texture and started moving up in the world. Very aggressive, covers a good portion of the frame, but as always, handgun manufacturers are lacking texture on the indexing points. If there is one thing I could get through to all major manufacturers, it would be put texture on the indexing points. When you start shooting with a red dot on a handgun for the first time, it can be a little bit challenging. You're always chasing the dot, your eyes don't know where to look for it right away. But the more you practice, the more you train, the more proficient you're going to become at using a red dot on a handgun. If you're struggling with that, I encourage you don't give up. Push through, keep training, you're going to notice a very huge difference. Coming in at only 21.5 ounces with the flush magazine and 22.5 ounces with the extended magazine. You're not adding a lot of weight to your daily setup. If you're looking for a lightweight, very capable concealed carry firearm for your daily adventures, this might not be a bad option. Forged steel, melanite finish slide. Seems like Springfield Armory is starting to do the forged slides with the majority of their firearms. I can appreciate that. That's gonna give you the strength, the durability that you want on a concealed carry firearm. One thing I would change about this slide, I would add front serrations. It's got pretty decent serrations in the back, but nothing in the front. And if you guys are familiar with my channel, if you've been here for a little while, you guys know I'm a huge fan of doing press checks, racking from the front. It's part of who I am. Love it or hate it, I don't care. 3.3 inch, hammer forged steel, melanite finish, one in 10 twist on this barrel. That's a mouthful. That's what she said. For being such a short barrel, that 3.3 inch, it's very accurate. I had no problem placing my shots on target right where I wanted them to be. Springfield Armory's barrels, I'd never had any issues with them. And I've run a lot of Springfield Armory firearms in my time. Let's talk about the sights. You're gonna have a traditional white dot in the front with a blacked out rear with serrations. Myself, I can appreciate the blacked out rear. That's usually what I'm gonna run to for sights. It would be a blacked out rear with an orange dot in the front. The serrations are going to help with glare from the sun and other ambient light. You know, it serves a purpose. To match up with those sights, Springfield Armory decided to deliver the Crimson Trace CTS 1500 red dot. Very capable red dot. Very crisp and clear, easy to pick up. The only downfall, and this is my personal opinion, as always, it is not adjustable. This is an auto dimming red dot that adjusts to the ambient lighting in your surroundings. 
That does help with extended battery life. I'm the type of guy, I'd rather be able to make those adjustments on my own. What's that saying? If you want something done right, do it yourself. Now that doesn't mean that this Crimson Trace 1500 is not a good operating red dot. It did perfectly fine in my tests and evaluations. The dot was very bright during broad daylight situations. Yeah, the brightness dims down quite a bit when your ambient lighting is very dark, but I still had no problem picking it up. It does a very good job at regulating the brightness on its own. Very capable red dot, very sturdy, crisp clear glass, very good sight picture. I think the Crimson Trace was a good option for Springfield to go with. I do see the benefit of running an auto adjusting brightness red dot for a concealed carry firearm. You know, it just makes it that much easier. Not only will this firearm accept the Crimson Trace red dot, it'll also accept all other red dots with that small footprint. If you don't want to run the red dot, Springfield Armory says they will include a cover plate. Personally, I didn't get one in my box. I'm not sure why, is what it is. Thank God I don't plan on running this without the red dot. Looks like nothing has changed on the frame of the XDS Mod 2 OSP to the original XDS Mod 2. You're gonna have the same grip texture, same grip angle, you're gonna have that nice undercut in the trigger guard, and a very high beaver tail. That's gonna allow you to get a higher purchase on your firearm, and we all know, the higher you can get to that bore axis, the less felt recoil you're gonna have. But keep in mind, this is a small handgun. 3.3 inch barrel, it is very snappy. It's not too snappy where you can't hold onto the thing, but just remember that. The smaller platforms are gonna have quite a bit of kick to them. That's totally okay, because that's what we would expect from a firearm of this size. I do definitely appreciate that undercut under the trigger guard. You don't see that a lot from companies. You know, I love being able to get that very high purchase. You don't have to worry about getting that infamous Glock knuckle. If you shoot Glocks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're gonna have a standard accessory rail up in the front. If you wanna run a light, a laser, it's always nice to have that option. The XDS Mod 2 is gonna have an ambi mag release. You're gonna be able to drop the magazine from the right side or the left side of the firearm. That's gonna be a very pleasing feature to both right-handed, left-handed shooters. The XDS Mod 2 does have a dual captive recoil spring with a full-length guide rod. Just like the majority of Springfield's firearms, the XDS Mod 2 OSP does have a loaded chamber indicator right on the top of the slide. I know a lot of people don't really care for the loaded chamber indicator. If you don't know you have a round in your gun, you probably shouldn't be around firearms. That's just my personal opinion. I could care less if a firearm has one or not. I got the wherewithal, the smarts, and I hope everybody else does to know if they have a live round in their firearm. The XDS Mod 2 OSP, just like the XDMs, has the integral backstrap safety. That's going to allow your firearm to stay extra safe while it's in the carrying position. But think about it, I know a lot of people hate that safety. Very 1911-ish. You know, I was never the biggest fan of that backstrap safety. But I realized after some test and evaluation that when you're going to grab that firearm and you're dedicated to using it in a self-defense situation, you are going to be gripping that sucker so tight, you're not even going to notice it's there. And it doesn't take much to disengage that backstrap safety. I did a couple different tests of picking this firearm up off the table, trying to do it as fast as I could with the shittiest grip that I possibly could and seeing if I had an issue disengaging that safety. I had no issues. I was able to discharge this firearm no matter how I gripped it. I know a ton of people hate having safeties on concealed carry firearms. And I totally get it, I'm one of those people. My typical EDC is gonna be a Glock 19. Probably one of the most easiest firearms on the market to operate. Simply put your sights on target, pull the trigger, bang. During high stress situations, I don't wanna be sitting there fiddling with a bunch of different safeties. I simply wanna put my sights on target, pull the trigger, eliminate the threat. So if you're not a big fan of having safeties on your concealed carry firearm, maybe this won't be the best option for you. During my test and evaluation with this, I'd say I ran through about 300 rounds. No issues with this firearm. No cycling issues, no feeding issues, no ejection issues, no light primer strikes. None of that shit existed. This thing ran flawless, and I think it's pretty safe to say it's gonna run the same for you. I do think that this firearm definitely has a place in the concealed carry market. You know, it's a fantastic little gun, very reliable, very accurate. It is a little snappy, but it's not overly snappy. And with it being a single stack design, it's gonna make it that much easier for you to conceal on yourself. Now here's my question. Why would you carry this when you can carry this?
the Springfield Armory Hellcat OSP. Both are very capable concealed carry handguns. The main difference? Capacity. 13 plus 1 rounds. 9 plus 1 rounds. Here's my philosophy. For a concealed carry firearm, I want to be able to fit as many rounds in that little sucker as I possibly can. If you run into an emergency situation, you don't know the nature of the threat. You don't know the type of weapon that the person's using, their round capacity. I want as many rounds as I possibly can to eliminate that threat, protect myself, my family, the ones around me. I believe that the Hellcat is superior, and I mean superior, over the XDS Mod 2. First off, it doesn't have that backstrap safety. It has your single trigger safety. Granted, the Hellcat is going to be just a little bit thicker, but it's hardly noticeable. The XDS is a little bit longer on the overall length. I mean, it's not rocket science. Higher capacity. Feels a lot better in the hand, to me anyways. I got big old mitts. With that pinky extension on there, my hand feels a little bit tight. Let's talk about this 9-round extended magazine. I'm not the biggest fan. My personal opinion, I think it adds way too much length for a concealed carry firearm. It's going to add that big, extra, just unnecessary waste of space on the bottom. I had to point that out. Not everything is bananas and pajamas. Look how much shorter the Hellcat is compared to that extended 9 round magazine on the XDS Mod 2. Very noticeable difference. When it comes to the world of concealed carry, the longer magazines you have, the harder it's going to be to conceal that. That printing is probably going to stick out pretty bad with this extended mag. And in all honesty, it does not feel the best in my hand. Even with my big ass mitts to wrap around that, it's not the most pleasing feeling. Maybe it has something to do with it being a single stack, but it just feels very unnatural to me. I had a lot better time shooting this with a seven round magazine. Now keep this in mind, just because something works for me does not mean it's going to work for you. You really have to get out there, get your hands on these products, try them out for yourself. I'm not here to make up your mind for you. I'm simply here to help guide you, share my experiences with you. Let's talk about the trigger on this XDS Mod 2 OSP. It's a decent little trigger. Yeah, it's a little stiff, but that's what you're going to expect from a concealed carry firearm. It's a little more stiffer trigger. If I had a guess, I would say this trigger pull is probably around five and a half, six pounds. Just like a Glock. You know, you wouldn't expect any more or any less from a factory trigger. Now with that being said, it is very smooth. It's a pleasing trigger. Very light take up, nice distinct wall, very clean break. But here's my issue. It has a pretty long reset. And I understand that on a concealed carry firearm. Yeah, whatever. I would like to see a shorter reset. That's just me. And don't get me wrong, this is a great trigger. That's just my personal preference, the short resets. But this is a very pleasing trigger for a stock firearm. Light take up, very distinct wall. Nice, crisp, clean break. For my test and evaluation, I ran with a couple different types of ammunition. I used Black Dot remanufactured 115 grain, and I also used the Max Tech 115 grain. Both shot without any issues. I mean, the stuff ran flawlessly. And when it comes to that Black Dot ammunition, I've been having nothing but good experiences with them. I'm not sponsored by Black Dot. Black Dot doesn't pay me to say this, but this stuff has worked so good for me, I have to share it with you guys. Black Dot is a remanufactured ammo company, and they do a fantastic job. I've ran probably close to 600 rounds of their ammunition. Not a single failure. I mean, the stuff runs flawless. They also update their website every Tuesday and Thursday with new inventory, and they do a pretty damn good job at keeping those popular calibers in stock during our national ammo shortage. I highly recommend that you guys check them out if you're looking for some decent ammunition at a decent price. Black Dot Ammunition, check them out. You won't be disappointed. We gotta give a huge shout out to Defense Target Systems. Defense Targets was nice enough to supply us with the steel targets that you saw in this video. And you're gonna be seeing a lot more of their products on my channel. I'm very happy to team up with these guys. They have awesome target systems. Very easy to put together, very easy to break down, and also very easy to transport. Made with high quality steel, these things are so much fun to shoot. If you've ever shot steel, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's something about having that audible. See what I mean? Once you shoot steel, 
you will never go back to paper. Trust me when I say that. It is very cool to see all these red dot ready pistols out on the market. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm a huge fan of shooting with red dots. It's kind of my personal preference at this point. Springfield Armory, you guys did it again. Very solid firearm on your hands. Awesome for the concealed carry people of the world. Good job. If you guys are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you get alerted every time I upload a new video. And if you are new, welcome to the family. The biggest way to support the channel right now is using discount code 715 Tactical during checkout at Optics Planet. Optics Planet has been the biggest sponsor of the channel so far, and I am super appreciative to have them on my side. The more you use that discount code, the better deals I get to cover and showcase new products on the channel. Teamwork makes the dream work. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time. Thank you.